Okay. Uh, good morning from Brazil, everybody. Uh, good afternoon from Europe, to Europe, and good night for China and Asia. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm a vascular surgeon, professor of vascular and vascular surgery in University of Sao Paulo. And today uh, I'm host this meeting, Innovative Interventional Techniques for Challenge AV Access and PVD. Uh, we will have four presentations. The first uh, will be mine. The second one will be uh, our Dr. Alexandro Lupi uh, from Italy. And the third one will be Dr. William Fonseca from Brazil too. And the fourth, the last one will be uh, the presentation of Dr. Malek Ben Murad from Tunis. So, uh, with no delay, I'll uh, begin my presentation. I will share my screen with everybody. If there are any problem, please uh, talk to me. Okay, I hope you are seeing my presentation. Uh, I will talk about true edge uh, balloon and convention versus true edge balloon versus convention balloon and geoplasty. Uh, what is the best? This is my disclosure about this presentation. Uh, we talk about uh, three teams in my uh, presentation. Uh, will be plain balloons, balloons with flat blade sections, and scoring balloons. So, this the concept of balloons that contains a flat blade section is not which uh, integral part of the balloon uh, wow or not new. Uh, the global trial, Amut Saint Randomized trial, uh, with uh, one thousand and two hundred more than one thousand two hundred patients tested the hypothesis that surgical dilatation with cutting balloon could result in less arterial trauma, fewer dissections, and less frequent hysterosis than conventional PTCA. But the results of the global trial indicate that cutting balloon angioplasty in simple lesion is not superior, was not superior to conventional PTCA for prevention of hysterosis and should probably be reserved for more complex lesions. Uh, I just uh, like to remember that this trial was, was made by coronary arteries. So this kind of device for coronary arteries are mainly used to treating stent restenosis, osteal lesions, bifurcate lesions, and smaller vessels to expand resistant fibrocalcified plaques, not dilated by high pressure conventional PTCA balloons. But in this uh, single story of a single center, Cutting balloon versus conventional balloon angioplasty in short femoral popliteal arterial stenosis show a different results. So, despite the small number of cases, uh, the uh, paper was well conducted uh, to see uh, and they show that compare PT uh, plain balloons with cutting balloons in short femoral popliteal lesions. And in all the scores that were measured, uh, residual stenosis, residual stenosis uh, less than 20%, uh, residual stenosis ranging for 20 to 50%, and residual stenosis, uh, 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 most of 50%, showed that cutting balloon was better in the short-term results compared to uh, playing balloons. Including in midterm, patency at 12 months and 25, 24 months showed that uh, cutting balloon was better, with better results, uh, with statistical difference, uh, as you can see in this uh, table. So, in this paper, we could see that cutting balloon seems to be valuable too in the endovascular treatment for short femoral popliteal stenotic lesions, achieving better patency in midterm compared to conventional. PTA. If you take a look at uh, PubMed uh, source, you can see in 2022, more than 
500 articles uh, related with scoring balloon uh, in peripheral artery uh, disease. In this uh, specific uh, paper, you can see uh, consecutive patients with de novo femoral popliteal lesions. 84 patients treated with scoring balloons and 84, 85, uh, 84 patients treated with plain balloons. Uh, uh, residual stenosis, meaner than 30%, was achieved more often in severe arterial dissection, occurred less frequently in a scoring balloon group versus plain balloon group. So, scoring balloon may be effective in restoring acute looming gain and preventing severe arterial dissection in femoral popliteal lesions. So, this kind of balloon uh, might be associated with better results, better outcomes, including classified lesions measured by score of PAX 0 to 3 lesions. Uh, to reach PTA scoring balloon, the latation catheter is intent for stenotic lesions in the peripheral vasculature, including lia, femoral, popliteal, renal arteries, and arterial venous fissulas. Uh, the scoring elements is designing in uh, each 120 degrees, each one for another. And the advantage of three-weight balloon, its ability to reduce vessel strength and vessel injury by scoring the vessel longitudinally, rather than causing an uncontrolled disruption of atherotic display. Special balloon catheter with three atherotomies, as you can see, uh, anyways, is by, by a cutting knit in a wire bonded longitudinally to its surface. In our opinion, the main reason of the good results of this kind of device and specific up to reach balloon is the inflation pressure that is reduced by 7% with the same expansion effect compared to normal balloon. The other advantage, as you can uh, observe with this kind of device, is effective for force dilatation, easy navigation in turtle's vasculature, and reducing vessel wall injury in the section, improving the prognosis of the lesion. Uh, the scoring elements, the, the focus, uh, first dilatation, easy navigation, different for uh, cutting balloon, for example, reducing vessel wall injury in the section, improving the prognosis is the main result for the good patency, as you can observe in our case. This is, is the balloon. Uh, the work length can be by uh, 50, 75, and 90 centimeters, and a range of diameter from three to eight millimeters. And it depends of uh, the size of the balloon. You need a different sheet. The range will be five, for five francs to seven francs. So in a sing single case that I would like to show that we have done these days, uh, a male of 78 years old, painful with spontaneous lesion on extremities of the first, second, and third toes of the left foot, insulin-dependent type 2 diabetes mellitus. Uh, he had been submitted to angioplasty of fibular artery in August 22, partial amputation of the second and third toes. He presented uh, initial improvement that time of symptoms and for the worsening of lesion recurrence in December uh, 2022. So this is the case that uh, uh, we have been we have to manage. The patient was in the a really painful disease. Uh, we, the member are their leg are pendant and uh, they are using just with only relief with morphine. So you can see necrosis of the first two and the second and third uh, previous amputation. This is, is the angiography that you have done in that time. The patient has uh, occluded anter anterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery. And they have only the fibular artery that had two stenosis. The first one, the first segment with almost 90% of histonosis, a de novo histonosis. Uh, and uh, in the distal part of the femoral art artery, as you can see in the second image here, you can see uh, important histo uh, histonosis. Uh, the outflow 
and uh, food circulation is not uh, so good, but uh, the patient uh, it was the patient health. So we should in that time just have the uh, three, three millimeters balloon size with 60 millimeters of the extension uh, and the five uh, uh, French sheet. As you can see in the specific image of the wire of the balloon, uh, we are designing to do this kind of lesion. And in the first image here, you can see the balloon put the place uh, of the angioplasty. In the second image, the angioplasty. In the third image, you can see a good result with no dissection, no uh, remaining stenosis. So, uh, excellent result of this uh, angioplasty with the true age balloon. And uh, this top part, we use a uh, plain balloon and feed on deep from Medtronic, and uh, uh, we have a satisfactory result outcome of this angioplasty. And despite of the poor uh, runoff of the food, the patient have a good relief of the pain with a good bleeding after the treatment that we have done in the same time because the infection and they are healing your bones uh, very well. So in conclusion, true-age scoring balloon is an important tool in our opinion for PTA, mainly in restenosis, osteal lesions, bifurcate lesions, and smaller vessels to expand resistant fibrocalcified plaques of peripheral vasculature. So uh, this is was our presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm available for eventually questions. Uh, we have some any questions from the audience. Juliano, uh, good morning. My name is William. I'm from Sao Paulo. Did you do you okay. hear me? Okay. Yes, very well. Uh, okay. In your opinion, when you use a true edge balloon in general, you use the same size of the regular one on the different size because we know that the true edge has a different force in the, at the wall and we can offer different uh, forces in different places and uh, we, we think that if you use better uh, a small size or bigger than the the vessel what do you opinion about this hi William. Uh, it's a pleasure thank you for your question uh in our opinion uh we can use the same size because the main advantage of this balloon is the uh, last force that we have to apply to get the, the same result in terms of the ballooning. So uh, our experience showed that uh, the size, the choose of size of the balloon, you using arterial vessels were the same. I think it's a little bit different in arterial venous fistulas, as you can in our experience, and probably you show us uh, your experience. Any more questions for the audience, our colleagues, Dr. Malek, Dr. Alexandro? Um, okay, Professor Giuliano, uh, if uh, in uh, his uh, experience, uh, this uh, kind of approach, uh, that is to say, treating uh, immediately with uh, the scoring balloon, in particular, uh, the three wedge, uh, lesions that are reasonable to respond to this treatment could be uh, the good the first approach to prepare vessels to uh, the drug gluten balloon treatment in order to avoid the stents uh, and uh, have uh, perhaps uh, more physiological uh, results the, for the prognosis of the patient absolutely agree dr Alexandro. thank you for your comment uh, i think it's uh, uh red balloon, scoring balloon is very good uh, to prepare the vessels to to uh, do a gluten balloon. In our opinion, we have to avoid as much as possible to put the stents 
in this kind of segment, femoral popliteal and popliteal exclusively, and distal lesions. And he can use the first uh, to prepare the vessel, mainly in the calcified vessels, uh, like this one that I showed us. Thank you. So if you don't have more questions, I, I think you can move, move on. Uh, the second presentation is uh, from Dr. Uh, will be by, done by Dr. Alessandro Lupi from Italy. Uh, Dr. Alessandro is Director of Complex Structure of Cardiology at Local Health Authority of Urbano Cusio Osola, member of ACVC, Association of Acute Cardiovascular Care, A A A EACVA, European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging, and EAPC, uh, European Association of Percutaneous Cardio Cardiovascular Interventions. Thank you, Dr. Alexander, to share the screen. It's yours. Very good. Uh, I hope that the screen is well uh, condivided. Do you see? Do you see the screen? Okay. Uh, I. I want to thank uh, Brosmed for this uh, invitation that was, uh, uh, I'm probably here to talk about uh, these uh, interesting uh, topics uh, with uh, uh, these important colleagues. And I have uh, to talk about the use of three wedge in the treatment of uh, arteriovenous fistulas with uh, some clinical cases. Uh, why is uh, important uh, to have uh, a device uh, like uh, three wedge uh, for treatment of arteriovenous fistulas? Uh, because the uh, the disease, uh, the arteriovenous fistulas disease, uh, is uh, very different from the native atherosclerosis. Uh, there is uh, a great uh, a greater amount of dense fibrosis. There is a lot of calcium. There are lesions. There are frequent uh, uh, when they are treated, they go to complications because they need high uh, dilatation pressures uh, with a high risk of dissection and perforations. And also, is the Doctor Alexandro, uh, Doctor Alexandro, please. Uh, your screen is not moving on. Uh, you can put in presentation mode. Yes, it's presentation. Uh, is uh, not, is the first. It's not passing for us. Uh, I don't know. You don't uh, have the. I'm condivision. I try to interrupt the condivision and restart. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you see at least? Uh, I'm trying to maximize, but uh, it doesn't work. It, yeah, uh, but works. but if it, yeah, try to pass the one slide to another. If okay, now it's going on. I I, you can, I try you can to present it. Yeah, at least uh, with uh, this uh, kind of presentation. Um, as it was uh, before. Or uh, the point is that uh, the atherosclerosis uh, that we are use, uh, used to, tra to treat in uh, our patients is different in comparison to uh, arteriovenous fistulas because uh, in this case there is a larger amount of a tissue of a fibrous tissue and the calcium and these lesions are prone to rupture to dissect to give a complication. And the approach to these lesions also 
condition the future evolution of the lesions, the prognosis of the lesions, because if we do not prepare well these lesions, they are very prone to future restenosis. Often we see the phenomenon of the dog boning in these vessels because with conventional balloons, if we dilate the lesion, we stress uh, more uh, the edge of the lesions and the less the center of the lesions because uh, this, uh, in this point uh, the uh, balloon is weaker than uh, the resistance offered from the vessel wall. So it is uh, important uh, to change uh, uh, to a type of device that uh, can uh, uh, solve these uh, problems that are tricky and that are uh, often uh, producing uh, great problems uh, during our intervention. So the three wedge uh, balloon has been uh, um, engineered to overcome these uh, limitations and in particular uh, is um, the, the most important part of, of this system are the uh, scoring elements. There are um, uh, stainless steel uh, uh, triangular scoring elements placed one at uh, 102,000, uh, 120 uh, degrees, one from uh, the other, in order to distribute uh, in a, a homogeneous mode uh, the force uh, towards uh, the vessel wall that we want to treat, that we want to prepare. Here is uh, the um, three wedge balloon uh, that has four markers. Uh, the first uh, uh, and the more uh, this, the more proximal markers uh, are markers uh, that uh, um, indicate uh, the length of the scoring uh, wires, while the other two inner markers indicate uh, where there is uh, the balloon and where the balloon will inflate. The advantage of the web system has been uh, well explained before. I will uh, remember the excellent trackability, the effective focus of the force on the vessel wall that you want to treat, the efficient uh, around the distribution on the vessel wall of the force through the three triangular metallic scoring elements. And uh, the result is a very predictable outcome because we can reach a very uh, uh, the result in terms of uh, uh, luminal gain uh, without uh, uh, disrupting uh, the uh, geometry of the vessel. We uh, maintain a, a very circular uh, uh, vessel with uh, very limited uh, lesions uh, that can uh, progress uh, to problems like perforations of, uh, the, of uh, or uh, uh, we can see difference between a three wedge and normal PTA uh, balloon. Uh, you can see that when uh, we apply a pressure of six atmospheres in the three wedge, this is uh, the same force that we obtain in normal PTA uh, balloon with the 14 atmospheres. But most interestingly, if we apply uh, more pressure, like uh, 15 atmospheres, uh, we have uh, the same effect in terms of force of applying uh, 30 atmospheres in a normal PTA balloon. The difference is that the balloon you can see is very larger than at 14 atmospheres. So we can lose uh, the control over the, diameti the diameter of the dilation and uh, create problems. This is a, a graph that uh, make a comparison between uh, the rated burst pressure of the three wedge and other uh, device for scoring uh, cutting balloons that are uh, in, in commerce. And you can see the, the, the balloon can uh, sustain uh, much more stress than the other balloons that are uh, available. Uh, about the scoring system we have already told, it's important that the uh, triangular scoring elements are, um, are triangular with uh, a point that points towards the vessel wall in order to maximize the force applied to the vessel wall of the plaque that we have to, to treat. Advantages are a very low entry profile that permits 
our uh, curfew profile that permit us, uh, that allow us to uh, use it uh, as a first uh, attempt at uh, in very tight lesions so without uh, using other balloons to uh, make a, a, a way to advance uh, the, the more uh, bulky devices. And uh, this is in this uh, slide, we can see the difference in the flexibility of the device. The three wedge is very flexible, uh, more flexible than other uh, well known devices like the Angel Sculpt. And this is important for, for trackability because we need less force to bend the device during the passages throughout the tortuous anatomy. And it's more easier to bring the device where we have to uh, make our delay. And uh, here are the, the clinical cases. Uh, these are the clinical cases of uh, the very routine practice uh, where we, we are uh, starting to use uh, three wedge uh, more and more. This first case is a female lady of 43 years old and stage chronic kidney disease. In, uh, to, uh, in 2021 uh, was uh, created a radiocephalic arteriovenous fistula for uh, carrying dialysis, dialysis treatment. And uh, the lady was referred for fistula dysfunction and evidence of a tight tandem stenosis of the cephalic vein at uh, echographic evaluation. You can see, I'm uh, sorry that I cannot uh, enlarge the imagine, but uh, you can see that here there is a very tight stenosis. Here is a less but longer stenosis. Uh, we are injecting from, uh, uh, from an introductor that is placed uh, 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 very near the uh, elbow crease. Uh, we performed in this case a treatment with a chocolate device that is a, one of these uh, uh, balloons that uh, can do a, a work, uh, a job like the, 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 the scoring balloon, uh, expanded for uh, at 14 atmospheres for two minutes. But the result was not uh, absolutely not uh, acceptable. So that uh, we uh, decided to use uh, the three uh, wedge. Uh, the, uh, over the two, uh, over the way we, we had not in the we, unfortunately we had not uh, a longer measure, but uh, we, we could uh, have done uh, this uh, with a longer uh, uh, balloon. We used uh, this uh, 80 uh, three wedge scoring balloon expanded at 12 atmospheres for two minutes. And here the results. You can see that we have a good, a really good result that is similar to the uh, to the caliber of the native vein that we are going to treat. Then uh, we used uh, a, a paclitax routine balloon, and this is the final result. We have the six month follow up of this uh, patient. The lady uh, had an uneventful follow up with a satisfactory fistula blood flow output and uh, no sickness or extenosis at uh, echo Doppler evaluation. And this is a second case. Uh, this is uh, another female. Uh, 52 years old, another case obviously of uh, end stage uh, renal disease uh, due to, in this case, to polycystic kidney disease. The fistula was uh, done in 222. There was uh, at a, a, very, um, a very early uh, defect in the maturation of the fistula with uh, tight cephalic vein stenosis proxima to anastomosis. And uh, the, the patient was uh, treated with an angioplasty, uh, an, uh, a standard angioplasty, and the treatment with a drug routine balloon. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, um, the stenosis uh, uh, relapsed, and uh, the lady was referred to our cath lab for fistula dysfunction and evidence of a re significant restenosis in the cephalic vein. Can you see here the um, uh, the first uh, the, the first treatment of uh, 222? There was uh, this uh, very uh, the uh, 
probe also to effect of maturation of the fistula. And uh, here is the result of the treatment. Uh, you can see that uh, there is a good uh, caliber uh, obtained, and uh, this was uh, treated with uh, this lesion was treated with paclitax and in balloon to consolidate the result. Uh, uh, this is the new uh, the new angiography of the relapse of the problem. You can see there is a here a very tight new stenosis, restenosis of the, 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 the lesion treated. And there is also a, a, a lesion that uh, angiographically seems not to be so tight, but at uh, echographic evaluation was uh, significant. So we had to treat both the lesions with, uh, uh, in this case, we, go, we went directly with the tray wedge, uh, 14 atmospheres for two minutes. Uh, we could stay with uh, not too much a large uh, balloon because uh, the uh, lady was uh, tiny and the, the vein was uh, uh, small. Uh, and, uh, here, uh, and here is the treatment with uh, a Sirolimus lutein stent, a magic touch, uh, eight atmospheres for two minutes. And the final result you can see, and uh, I regret that I cannot magnify the image, uh, but uh, in uh, this case, uh, we can see also uh, not only the good result in terms of uh, caliber, but also there are small bumps in uh, the uh, vessel wall that that, that uh, indicate the area in which uh, there was uh, the maximum effect of the scoring elements of the uh, of the three wedge balloon. Uh, and I must also uh, make a special thanks to our uh, nephrologist because in our institution we have uh, also the uh, the good habit to uh, plan the procedures and uh, often to do the procedures uh, together with our nephrologist. The nephrologist uh, allowed us to better understand the pathophysiology of the arteriovenous fistulas uh, and to get, in some cases, uh, safer vascular effects and faster closure, because uh, often the nephrologist is very acquainted to get the abscess to the fistula in, uh, in some situation is uh, very good that uh, he helps us in this uh, job. So the take home message are that uh, arteriovenous uh, fistula disease is very different from native atherosclerosis and uh, uh, three wedge balloon is very different from other scoring device. It is a device well suited for this job to treat arteriovenous fistula disease. Uh, and it's important to use the dev this device uh, not only to uh, obtain immediately a good result, but, but also to prepare uh, the vessels for the drug eluding balloon that it is uh, very useful in this situation. And, and uh, another thing is that if you have the possibility to uh, collaborate with a nephrologist in this job is important because it could add to your expertise uh, very good skills, especially for gaining the access to the fistula and the closing the fistula itself. Thank you for this, uh, your attention. Okay, thank you, Dr. Alexandro. Uh, you can see you have some questions from the audience. Moreover, Dr. Alessandro, I have a question for you. Uh, uh, I saw that you tried to do the uh, angioplasty first with the plain balloon uh, before the using a truette to prepare the vessel. In your actual uh, experience uh, for these complex lesions, have you been used a uh, truette balloon as the first option uh, to prepare the vessel or you always try to use plain balloon first. Yes, it's a good question. In the first case, 
we tried the chocolate because we felt that there was the for, perhaps the possibility to get to have a good result, but uh, three wedge performed uh, better than these. So we we didn't try the to access directly. In the second case, we went directly without other balloons with the three wedge, uh, because uh, in other cases that I could not uh, present today, uh, we are more and more uh, going uh, directly with the three wedge without uh, using other, uh, other devices. It's uh, very important uh, to have uh, a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, the balloon to the, the, the vessel to treat because uh, uh, the device is uh, very strong. Uh, you see that the bumps of uh, in the, in the, the vessel wall are minor uh, disruptions of the ultima medial layer, layer and uh, you have to be uh, very careful. The device is, uh, according to me, safer than normal balloons to perform an angioplasty, but if you go with the larger diameters and the high pressure, you can do damage the same if you, go, you don't use it uh, appropriately. So I think that it could be with uh, without uh, with some uh, uh, some considerations so you can use at uh, the first uh, uh, choice to, to, to go for intervention in these difficult cases. Okay, very good points. Thank you very much. You have more any more questions from the audience, Dr. Melik? Ah, <coughs> Dr. Lopez, good talk. What about the use uh, use of drug balloon? balloon? Do you use, uh, did, you, did you use a drug balloon for every procedure of uh, arteriovenous uh, stenoscopy, uh, or after in case of stenosis and younger patient in the cephalic arch? What about your practice? I use uh, uh, in each case because uh, these patients are very difficult patients are always uh, young people with uh, not good lives, uh, good, uh, poor quality of life. And if I think that I can spare to them uh, just one procedure, uh, I think that is a good thing. So it's a, it's a, a kind of people, a kind of patient that deserves a very, uh, not only uh, scientific uh, uh, treatment, but, but also empathic treatment. So I, I use it in every, I spend much money, but I use it for every patient. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Dr. Alexandro. Uh, I think you don't have more questions from the audience, Dr. William. Are you ready? Are you well, let's move on. I present Dr. William, our next presentation. Uh, Dr. William uh, is an interventional radiology and vascular surgeon in Guaratinga, São Paulo, Brazil. He's a vascular surgeon, graduate of PUC Campinas, radiologist with specialist title from Sobrisa Society, uh, Brazilian Society of Vascular uh, and the Vascular Intervention. Uh, the screen is yours, Dr. William, please. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Giuliano and Dr. Lupi for a very nice explanation. Uh, everyone can see these slides? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to show us uh, some concepts and uh, not to repeat the, the, the class because this is the, the long discussion about the, the, the same title. But we, we discuss about the two-edge balloon and new concepts about to angioplasty without uh, or with a new concept. Uh, we know about the Kidoki concept that the POBA show us uh, that in challenge challenge in lesions, you can achieve uh, less than 50% in the first year and sometimes you necessary to multiple retrievations to keep the vessel uh, open. This, uh, this type of lesion uh, in general has uh, a stenosis that result of the new intima and hyperplasia, and typically of, because the fibrous lesion uh, that it is distinguished of the arterial lesion. Uh, the two-head concept 
you can face uh, three wires uh, that offer a nice release of the pressure. In my opinion, this type of balloon has the main uh, characters, low profile, low crossing profile, hydrophilic coating, good trackability, fast inflation and deflation, high pressure resistance and control of a duplicity with no dissection. The conception of the dog bone boning phenomena uh, was reported uh, in the coronary duplicity. For example, when you use the stent in the high calcified lesion, the edge of the stent offer to the wall a high pressure and a high tear with lesion of the edge. And you can see, you can see, you can see in this slide uh, that the stent uh, make a stress in the edge of the lesion. And you think that it happened on a balloon too. The true edge concept uh, release the pressure with the scoring element that are designed to longitudinally fracture plate or lesion that achieve a more effective scoring uh, that reduce the injury of, in the wall uh, to avoid restenosis uh, at the our our vessel. This is I imagine of uh, uh, of the balloon with the wire. Uh, this provided more concentration and less slippage of the vascular wall. We think that this type of balloon offer uh, uh, um, uh, uh, regular forces or release. And you have here a regular case that uh, the, the nephrologist send us with uh, total occlusion and after the thrombectomy, thrombectomy device you can open the vessel with uh, uh, the lo uh, uh, a low flow in the very high stenosis to avoid the flow. This is the immediately angiography. You can see the thrombos here, the long lesion stenosis and you can put the regular balloon but you can see here a uh, resistant of the, the the lesion and we know that this is type of deletion is not a, a, a good com compatibility with the regular balloon uh, since it use a high uh, pressure you can see the the the, the final stenosis to keep them and in general you can see this vessel fracture and our uh, not good uh, image with the contrast at the end of the procedure. In my opinion, I think uh, I, I prefer to use uh, tree wet before to use other balloons to avoid this type of um, evolution because this type of deletion sometimes fracture the, the wall, create the the the, the uh, type of uh, uh, not regular superface and to create a, a new possibility to thrombosis or to create a restenosis. Uh, we have some difficulties with the insurance, but in general, if you use, you can use uh, a true ad at the beginning is better. You can see another case uh, with a high stenosis with the collateral and the restriction of the, the flow. And after to put the balloon, you can see a very nice result. Uh, release the force uh, with uh, a, a very soft uh, release and it to uh, show us a nice uh, result. And not to stand, I, I, I don't want to stand the, the discussion, but to, to make uh, sometimes to have uh, 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 answers. But we know that we have we need to have more data to to face this type of deletion because um, I have an initial experience with two red balloons. Uh, but I think to nowadays uh, in my practice I use to uh, drug uh, in general use our uh, uh, drug eluting balloons at the end of the procedure. 
in all cases as possible. And uh, I prefer to use the red balloon of the beginning to avoid this type of deletion, to avoid the bad results and uh, to offer better results for the patient. Um, I think the, the main, uh, in, the main uh, characteristics of this type of, of balloon is to offer the patient uh, simply uh, technical maneuvers to avoid the long procedures, uh, to in general use uh, uh, O35 uh, eye wire. This is a very nice difference from, sometimes from the cutting balloon that you need to change the wire all the time. Sometimes you stay alone at, in, in the procedure. You don't have a lot of hands to handle this type of, of the procedures. And it's better to use the one balloon with a low cost for the, the insurance and uh, techno, simple techni technical maneuvers and to offer uh, better results for the patients. Uh, this type of uh, enforce, uh, in general, offered the patient uh, less central line uh, in hemodialysis assistance because of the we know that the central line has more infection. And I think the two red balloons are an evolution in a new trend in able fistula, uh, but uh, more data are necessary to uh, to base this conduct in the all cases uh, to to support our conduct. Okay. If the panel have some questions, Thank you. let's move on. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Dr. William. Uh, you can stop to share your screen. Okay, you don't have questions from the audience. I'd like to make one question for you. Uh, as I saw in our experience, you have been using a uh, two weight balloon. So, uh, as you as you say, uh, in our opinion, you have to offer the best as soon as possible uh, to our, our patient. If you if you we can avoid staying uh, in this kind of procedure, it's very uh, good for the patient. Eh? And we avoid another costs. And we know in many countries, including Brazil, who have issues about uh, insurance and public health system. So how did you measure to, to get these tools in your hand and to, to how to choose uh, each device you, you use in each procedure? You ask for all uh, devices are in your hand if you uh, need or you have to choose before the procedure what device uh, you are using. Uh, in general, it's a nice question, uh, Dr. Giovigliano, very nice question. Uh, in, in my daily practice, I use to prepare the, 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 the job, the, the, the workstation, uh, with, in general, with uh, um, thrombectomy device, uh, if you have a total occlusion vessel, in general, you use uh, 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 a Boston device to thrombectomy, an uh, uh, angiojet device. And after that, if you open, you can achieve the, the total uh, restoration of the, the flow. You uh, use the same wire to deploy the, the balloon and joplasty because we know that uh, almost 100% of the, the, the type of occlusion happens with the hastenosis lesion, the hastenosis of the vessel. And uh, I use, I prefer to use uh, 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 one balloon. And in my opinion, to add this is the, the choice because you offer uh, a nice pressure uh, release and that avoid the le more lesion. And uh, th that type of balloon you can uh, uh, fi find with a, a O35 wire. And then you will use the same wire. And uh, as so possible, you put the drug eluting uh, balloon at the end of the procedure to keep the vessel, or I think though to better to achieve more better results and outcomes. 
But in general, I start with the all materials in the, the, the room to avoid to, uh, to stand or to, to, uh, uh, to reduce the time of the procedure and to create a nice condition to, uh, uh, to realize uh, uh, this type of the, the result to, or the, the results. Okay, very good point, Dr. William. Any more questions from our colleagues or our audience? Okay, uh, so uh, when we'll go to the next presentation, uh, will be done by Dr. Uh, Malak Ben Murad from Tunis. Uh, he is a professor of vascular surgery, faculty of medicine of Tunis Cardiovascular Surgery Department and the Habitat Hospital of Tunis with more than 5,000 procedures of endovascular surgery. The screen is yours, Dr. Malik, please. Okay. It's okay? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I want to thank the CrossMed team and uh, their local representative uh, in Tunisia, the Society for Habitation. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Manik Bilmram, I'm a vascular surgeon in Tunisia, and, uh, and I work in the cardiovascular department, the surgery department of the Arthur Hospital in the, in the city, and the biggest one in the country, and we have five operating rooms dedicated for vascular and cardiac surgery, and also a numerous room and a big cafe. Uh, and in my talk today, I will uh, report my uh, personal experience of the breast med device, mainly angioplasty balloon. Uh, and uh, you must know, as uh, since one year in Tunisia, we have Hermes, Shield, and Castor, and recently, Trivage from Prosmed. Let, uh, let me introduce uh, the first. My first case is arteriovenous access angioplasty, 31 year, uh, year old woman. Uh, she has uh, chronic renal failure for five years. She is uh, under uh, peritoneal diseases and uh, she had a left hemorrhocephalic arteriovenous fistula made one year ago. And since two months, his nephrologist uh, reports a pressure drop, a less of thrill, loss of thrill, and odema of the hand. Duplex ultrasound shows stenosis of the arch of the cephalic vein and flow was 600 milliliters by minute. And you see uh, here after the first procedure, we have do, uh, do this pr uh, procedure uh, one, month, one month ago, the, the 21. Yeah. And uh, uh, after a retrograde puncture, we put the six branch uh, sheet. And you see here tight stenosis of uh, the, uh, the cephalic arch of the stula. And it was very easy to cross the station with the 35 hydrophilic guide wire from UPU and uh, the me measurement indicates that the diameter of the fistula was 8 to 8.5 millimeter. And uh, as the, it was the first angioplasty for this patient, uh, our strategy is to use 7 to uh, seven to 8 millimeter the, uh, high pressure balloon and not to use bigger balloon to avoid the serious complication like uh, such a rupture. And for this case, I, uh, my, uh, I should, my first choice was to use the, the conquest from Bard. And you see here the angioplasty, uh, uh, the inflated balloon uh, to, uh, uh, <coughs> until to 27 atmosphere. And despite this, the, despite the, we reached the, uh, the rated burst pressure for this type of balloon, we are unable to overcome to, of the station uh, and to totally inflate the balloon. And, and after three, three years, after 20 minutes, three, three years of inflation, deflation, what to do? I, I have to, to change our strategy and to use the double, the, uh, the double uh, guide wire technique. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's very easy. We exchange the first uh, six French uh, producer by a second one, seven French sheet, uh, and uh, we introduce a second hydrophilic, you see here, the second hydrophilic guide wire in parallel of the first one, and to have a, a, like a cutting effect when you inflate uh, the balloon. And uh, despite this, uh, this approach, we did enable to, uh, to uh, overcome the lesion. It's very, very, very resistant lesion. Uh, I decided to, to, uh, to do an angiovic control, and you see here, uh, we are, uh, have a better result, but there is a, a big, 
uh, uh, risk of stenosis but bet, uh, more than 50 or 60 percent i decided to stop the uh, you have clinically clinically you have a better result with reappearance of the heel i decided to stop the procedure and to uh, follow uh, clinically the patient unfortunately one uh, one month later we have the reappearance of ab the abnormalities uh, uh, during uh, the analysis session with the arrangement of the, the time of compression and the drop of the drop of the pressure. Uh, we decide to, to take back the, pressure, the patient and to do a second procedure. Uh, this procedure was done, you see here, five, uh, five days ago, the 16th of this month. Uh, you see here the, the first uh, physiography with the tight stenosis of the cephalic arch. This time, I decided to use uh, the three wedge from uh, Brosman. You see here the three marks of the balloon, and uh, you see you see the balloon. And uh, you have decided this, uh, this time to use an uh, eight by 40 millimeter balloon. Uh, and you, uh, if you see uh, the, the, the rate of breast, breast, breast uh, pressure, pressure rupture uh, for this balloon, for this diameter is 16. Uh, and this balloon can, can <coughs> pass over 18 guide wire and they come with a six French comp uh, compatibility. In here, we, uh, we have placed the balloon in, in, uh, next to the, uh, the stenosis. We initially, we initially we inflate the balloon to eight mini, the nominal uh, nominal pressure. You see here the inflation of balloon at uh, eight mini, uh, eight atmosphere. It's the nominal pressure of this balloon, but uh, we have the same result. It was impossible to uh, to, uh, to overcome the lesion. What to do? We uh, we decide to go to 16, uh, then 18 atmosphere. You must uh, uh, the, the six, 16 is the, the maximum the, the rated uh, pressure uh, rated uh, breast pressure for this balloon. Uh, but, but we have the same result. Then we go to 20, and finally it, it was possible to inflate totally the balloon. Uh, 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 but Unfortunately, uh, the, pain, uh, the patient uh, report uh, acute pain, uh, and uh, we have rupture of the balloon. And see, uh, I think the fellow and me go to 24 atmosphere. But as you see here, my hand, uh, my first uh, reflex was to, to quick uh, compress the uh, area because I thought there is a rupture of the vein. Uh, but fortunately, you see here, we have a good result. Um, there are no rupture, a good result without with uh, and with uh, residual stenosis less than 30 percent. You see here the initial photography and final result. Uh, and you see here the balloon uh, the, with the, the, the blades, uh, metallic blades after use. Okay, the, this case the show the interest show the interest of using the the three wedge the scoring balloon when you are. When you have when you, when you have failure with play a normal plane uh, plain balloon uh, plane balloon, my second case also is arteriovenous access angioplasty. You see here a 55 year old woman chronic renal failure. Right, you see here the right uh, right uh, cephalic uh, stula. And uh, since one month, pressure drop and loss of thrill, and duplex ultrasound stenosis in front of arterial and venous function point. Uh, it was very easy to cross also this uh, this, uh, this, uh, this lesion. And you see here, uh, I don't use uh, three wedge because I, I have three wedge for, for the week, uh, last two weeks, but I use Hermes from uh, also Brosmed. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, balloon dedicated for peripheral artery disease, but is uh, is uh, the advantage to use it in artery venous access. It's a high pressure balloon, and uh, with the, the rate of the first pressure come from 18 to 22, it depends on the diameter. And the, the big advantage is a low profile balloon, and we come with different diameter and different length from 20 to 150. And you see here the, affl the inflation of this balloon. Uh, the inflation of this balloon it's also a resistant lesion but less than the first one and you see here final result after angioplasty of all the uh, immunocephalic fistula with good result we have uh, may, we don't use uh, drug balloon because it's very expensive in tunisia 
uh, but we have better result uh, reference of the field with a stenosis less than, less than 30 percent my third case is a peripheral artery disease that you see here uh, is a 45 year old man diabetic coronary disease he has a recanalization you see here the uh, recanalization of sfa with stunting by about stunt uh, six by uh, six millimeter by six uh, sixty three years ago excuse me for the quality of the image you see here the the old stunt the old stunt and then after thrombosis of the stand, he had a venous bypass, popliteal popliteal bypass. And you see here the proximal anastomotic chamber. And now he has occlusion of the bypass admitted in our department for critical limb ischemia. And you see the occlusion and the study you have tibia antral artery and peroneal artery, you see here. I was, it was unable, unable to cross uh, the lesion into, into the tibial other artery. Normally, I, do, I, do, I can do a retrograde uh, approach, but uh, it can, uh, we can cross a uh, lesion to the peroneal artery. You decide to inflate, and you have used the Hermes 5 by 150. In normal case, in the such, uh, such cases, normally you use the predilitation by coronary balloon because they are fibrotic, very, 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 uh, very tough to cross. But in this lesion, uh, by this balloon, you are very easy to cross this, the, 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 stand, the occlusion stand. And you see here angioplasty of SFA and popliteal artery. And we have also used a shield, it's another uh, low profile balloon from uh, Brosmet. We have used it for three by 100 for uh, tibio, uh, per, per, tibio trunk, and also two by 100 for the distal part of the peroneal artery. And you see also a shield is a low profile, is very, very uh, terrific balloon with different uh, diameter. We have Tunisia two, two, uh, two, two. 3.5 diameter and also we can uh, is a high pressure balloon it can be uh, the, the the average the rate burst by pressure with 18 to 22 it depends on diameter and uh, you have used it several times this balloon uh, and you can uh, very very uh, very very interesting profile like, like extra support balloon and you face finally you have initial result after you see here the small dissection and you uh, also the, the, the so we decide to put a long stand uh, evolution proof from a vascular uh, 5 by 20 to 200. And you see here the, the proximal part of the stand. And you see here the distal part. You see the, all the whole stand for the uh, distal part and middle part of SFA. You see here the old stand. We have a good result for SFA, popliteal, and peroneal uh, artery. Uh, the my last case also SFA case with Hermes uh, critical limb ischemia uh, 66 year old man you have occlusion of middle part of SFA you see here uh, we do also this case the last month and uh, you see here you cross with Bernstein catheter and uh, hydrophilic guide wire interumo and you see you use a five by 100 millimeter Hermes to uh, you delay the, the, uh, all the SFA uh, also also the proximal part and to see you the final result uh, SFA without distinction we don't use static in this case we can uh, we can put a drug balloon but uh, I don't do the drug balloon in this case because we have not uh, the, this one in uh, my cat lab recently uh, no, but as you see here without this section you can have uh, with, with uh, this balloon we have a good result without this section to conclude, I see we have uh, our experience the last year when we have done more than one, 100 procedures with prostate balloon at the last year. I think it's really honestly, it's excellent devices with lower the port point, like uh, for the, like our Tunisian context, our, the, 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 it's a lower cost than other balloon from Boston, from Medtronic, from Abbott, and uh, Bard. Uh, for scoring balloon, I don't have a, a really experience with the, the, the only case we have the, that I present, but I, I think it's very interesting uh, a, a solution, uh, especially for challenging case in arteriovenous fistula. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Malik. Uh, please stop sharing your screen. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, very good presentation. Uh, excellent case. Uh, I don't know if we have questions from the audience. Let me see. No question yet. So uh, I'd like to know uh, if you are using stats and it's kind of like you, the case that you presented, if you have a good result uh, with no dissection, uh, have you prefer using a stand or drogo and lutein balloon for this FSF, SFA? Uh, honestly, we prefer to use the like, balloon. We have the sacrifice. Uh, uh, we put, uh, if, if you have a young patient, uh, less than 50, uh, 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 50 years old man and uh, with diabetic patient and uh, because it's very expensive in Tunisia and in case of restenosis. But the case of that result is the first time, uh, it's, 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 it's what was the first, uh, first time on the I prefer to use a plane, a normal plane balloon. And if I have a, a, a dissection, I put stand. Uh, and if there are the stenosis, I put a drug with balloon a second uh, time. The problem in Tunisia is first. Really. Yes, it's the same in Brazil. <laughs> we have to think about a lot of what we are using in, in our procedures. So. Uh, as Dr. Winder said, it's the best scenario to have all the tools uh, for to choose in the time of the procedure, but sometimes they don't have. So this is a sensible uh, uh, way to do the procedures as they will show us. Uh, I don't have questions for other colleagues. Dr. William, Dr. Alexander. I have uh, one question for Dr. Melik. Uh, about the cephal art, you show us an interesting case that you use a tree wet balloon to to release and uh, to to release the, the stenosis. Uh, because in the past you generally use a stent or a cover stent for this type of lesion, because uh, we know that the this point we don't have only uh, uh, a stenosis of the vessel because of the fibrosis of the luminal stenosis. I think that uh, we found uh, some force in the, the fascial um, uh, vessel uh, of the vessel that uh, compromised the, 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 the flow and the create a turbulence and, and sometimes you need to put the stent to release the flow. In your opinion, you can change this point. Maybe we create a new conduct for this type of the, the lesion. Yeah. Sometimes you stand thing at a lot, of, but, but uh, you have uh, when we have follow our cases, I use stand standing and cephalic arch. We have may, may also fracture with stand, stand fracture. We also also over with calf to stand. But uh, in uh, uh, such cases, when you have a really a fibrotic uh, uh, and uh, lesion, very resistant lesion, you can do surgery. We have a vascular surgeon. We can transposate the cephalic, uh, cephalic vein to the subclavian vein. It's uh, the, the last solution. But uh, uh, fortunately, we have the three wage for, for these cases and uh, uh, really uh, very, very interesting. So, uh, but there is. Uh, I think uh, we, we can use also standing and cover stand to have this uh, device now our cut up, but they have uh, preferred to use three for these cases. Okay, thank you, Dr. Malik. Dr. Alexandro, any question? Okay, uh, so. Uh, uh, I can put some take home message for our presentations. Uh, probably the true weight balloon could be the first option for some complex lesions. Uh, have to offer the better as you can for our patients. So probably for the this uh, complex lesion in HB uh, fistulas and calcified fibrocalcified plaques, maybe we offer for uh, the uh, true age balloons as first options. Uh, we have to have all the tools as you can in our hands to do the, our case as soon as possible. And we have to take care with pressure balloon. As Dr. Malik shows, uh, 
the Achilles balloon has the advantage to put uh, some more pressure for complex lesion that doesn't work with regular balloons. So if you have the correct uh, tool, you can imagine better our procedures. So I think you have good presentations, good points discussed today. Uh, I hope everybody uh, uh, has enjoyed our meeting and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, Brosmat, Godali Medical, and all the organization of this meeting. Thank you know. very much for all. Thank you, all the experts. You enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, thank you.